Hey everyone, hope all is well. My first ever job was working as a sales assistant for a department store, selling floor coverings like carpets and rugs, before moving on to electrical goods such as cookers and washing machines. All really fun stuff. One moment that will forever stay with me was the time that my team celebrated a fellow colleague's 40 years of service. Yeah, you heard that right, 40 years in that one department store. Whilst I admired this incredible milestone she had reached, I couldn't help but feel somewhat repulsed by the idea of working in the same place for four decades. Being only 17 at the time, the world of work and careers was still very new to me. But as I grew older in a culture where long-term job security was a rarity, this moment for my ex-colleague only became more remarkable with each reflection. It was once pretty common for a person to have a job for life, and although no longer the case, you can still see elements from this time in today's work culture. For example, a cliché job interview question we often hear is, so where do you see yourself in 10 years time? This question seems quite redundant to me, because I mean, where do we see ourselves in 5 years time? Where do we even see the world in a year's time? or in a few months. We live in relatively turbulent times compared to previous decades, where the rate of societal change has sped up exponentially in accordance with technological advancements. Technology is cutting out the middleman across every industry. Technology is changing the way that we experience time and space. And technology is bringing on an information revolution, expanding our horizons on what is possible in life. And it's this third point that fascinates me most and gives me hope for our generation and the ones that follow. My great-grandfather on my dad's side was born in 1878 and died in 1975. During his time on this planet, the Wright brothers conducted their first flight in 1903. In 1952, the first commercial jet flew from London to Johannesburg. And in 1969, Apollo 11 conducted the first moon landing. There is no disputing that this is gigantic progress in just one vein of human history. But then I consider what has been developed in just the past 30 years I have been alive. The World Wide Web, genome sequences, social media, and GPS systems. Or how about in just the past decade? The Large Hadron Collider, the Mars Curiosity Rover, driverless cars, 3D printing, and virtual reality. It is clear that change is accelerating year on year with technology and human curiosity acting as the guiding hand for our civilization, And I believe that we are now at a tipping point in human history, where the pace of change is moving so fast that the way that we perceive idealism is shifting. We are all familiar with the classic phrase, anything is possible, which is unfortunately not the case, due to limitations such as resources, power structures, and our understanding of natural law. But because we are now seeing groundbreaking discoveries in the realms of science and technology on an almost daily basis, there is a new form of idealism that is emerging. And it can be summed up with a tweaked version of that classic phrase, anything is possible, if not now, then soon. This is a profoundly exciting new era we are entering if this attitude becomes mainstream. Because the latter part of this phrase provides us with a sense of direction, that solutions in the future exist for problems in the present. And so instead of writing off radical ideas as utopian or unachievable, we can organise and invest our collective time and money into making such things possible. Even if we don't get there, any step in that direction is a form of enlightenment, as long as we employ the scientific method. This change I speak of doesn't just come from a place of positivity though, I'm afraid. Millennials here in the UK and in some other parts of the world may be the first generation in history to be worse off than their parents due to the cost of education, lack of job security and property prices. But it isn't just millennials struggling under the current economic climate. If technological developments continue to speed up and financial security for the majority of citizens continues to worsen, then we could see human behaviour become more adaptive to change on a short-term basis. And at the very core of all of this, 
The concept of ownership is being challenged. Technology is allowing us to have access to goods and services without actually needing to own them. And worsening economic conditions means it's increasingly difficult to own property anyway. Now I've already made a video exploring the concept of ownership, which you should check out if you haven't already by the way, um, I'll link it at the end. But in the context of this video, it brings me to this final point. If society moves towards a place where ownership is for the most part deemed obsolete and the idea of a sharing economy starts thriving, you then have a population that is committed to fighting for values they truly believe in because they now have nothing to lose. Renewable energy, cryptocurrencies, digital connectivity, robotics, artificial intelligence. Just a few examples of game-changing developments that await us on the horizon. And each time we approach a new horizon, the next one appears to be even closer to us than the last. And I tell you what, there is nothing more inspiring than to know that real significant change is just around the corner if we strive for it. This is a huge topic, so I really look forward to continuing this discussion with you in the comments section of this video and in future ones that I make. And on the subject of Horizons, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all my new patrons who have taken me even closer to my goal. Hitting the $1,000 target before the end of March seems even more achievable now. So if you haven't already, please visit patreon.com forward slash Miles Dyer for more information and help me out if you can. Let's see if we can hit $700 by next week, shall we? God, that would be amazing. <laughs> thank you for watching as always. Why not click the like and share button? Why? Because you're awesome, that's why. And I will see you next week. Adios till next time. Pow!